Welcome to another video. So, Flux has been trending a lot these days. I've already done a bunch of videos on it, but I've noticed that a lot of people are using it to fine-tune and create better versions of Flux with their own custom data. Today, I'll be telling you how to train your own Flux model with your custom data and images. And the best part is that you can do it all for free. For this, we'll be using TensorArt. If you're not familiar with TensorArt, it's a really good free platform that allows you to generate images for free with a bunch of models. They give you about 100 credits every day, which you can use either to generate images or to train models as well. I have a video on it where I showed you how you can use it to generate images, so check it out if you want to know more about it. Also, if you sign up with my special link in the description, you'll get 100 more credits when you sign up, so make sure you use that. You can also buy some credits for very cheap, which is also really cool. They are also even hosting an event where if you train a model and share it with the people on their platform, then you'll get some cool prizes. I'll talk more about it towards the end, but let me first tell you that how you can train a Flux model yourself. So, first come to home page, and once you're here, just go to the model training option. Now, once you click that option, you'll see this page. Here, you'll need to upload your images that you want to use to train your model. For example, if you want to train it with your own face, you can upload a bunch of photos of yourself. Or if you want to train it with a specific style, you can upload a bunch of photos with that style, like anime or anything else you want to train it on. Also, many other training platforms require you to caption your images manually. But you don't need to do that here, because you can just upload your images, and it will auto-caption them with Vision LLM, which is also really cool. The more images you upload, the better the training results will be. You can upload up to 1,000 images here, which is really cool. And you can also upload an archive of images, if you prefer that. Anyway, apart from that, you'll also need to set up some other configurations. Here, we'll need to select the base model that we want to fine-tune. To do that, just select the custom option here. Now click here, and you'll see a bunch of models that you can fine-tune with your images. But we'll be using Flux, so just select the Flux model. You can select a Dev model or a Schnell model, which is also cool. I'll be selecting the Dev model. Now, you can edit the number of epochs and repeat images as well. Epochs basically mean how many iterations will be done during the training. An epoch is basically how many times the model will be trained iteratively. And repeat images means if you have 20 images, it will make the images 40 in the training data set by just duplicating them. This generally produces better results. After that, you'll need to define a trigger word. A trigger word is basically what will trigger this LoRa training in the base model. For example, if you are training a model on your face, you can use your name or something similar as the trigger word. You'll also need to enter a prompt that will be run after each epoch to see the results after each set of training, which is also pretty cool. Now, what will I be training? Well, I'll be training it with a simple blue tiger. I'll be training it with photos of a blue tiger that I have actually generated with Flux itself. You can train it with your own images or anything you want. I'll keep the trigger word as blue king tiger without any spaces and enter a simple prompt here as well. Once you've done everything and uploaded all your files, just hit the start training button and the training will begin. You can also see the credits that will be consumed for training, which depends on your number of images and training settings. You can see the progress bar here, along with all the epochs, and every time an epoch is completed, 
you will see the sample images that are created with the sample prompt you provided. Training will take time based on how many images you use. In my case, it took about three hours, and now you can see the final result. As you can see, these are all the epochs that it had to go through, and you can see the training progress here as well. In the last one, you can see that it has captured the exact thing we wanted. If I had given it more epochs and more data, we would have gotten even better results. But this is also pretty good, since I only used about 17 images. So now, we can do three things. First, we can generate images with the training we have done. If we generate an image from here, it will be done in all the epochs, and you'll be able to see the images in all the epochs and how it progresses. Once you see all that, you can choose the best model which represents what you want exactly. Once you have selected an exact epoch, we can either publish the model or download the model. Downloading the model will give you a safe tensors file that you can use as a model or LoRa in any tool you want, or you can also publish the model. Publishing will make it available for others to use, which is also good. And that way, you can also use it with TensorArt itself, which is also pretty cool. So, that's basically how you can train Flux and start using it. Also, if you train Flux on TensorArt and share it with others, you can win some cool, exciting prizes because TensorArt has just started a new Flux training contest. If you train a Flux model and share it on their platform, you can win cool prizes like an RTX 5090 when it gets released, or you can also cash it in, or you can get some games, credits, and other stuff, which is also pretty good. So go ahead and start using it to train some cool new models. Also, make sure that you sign up on the platform with the link in the description to get 100 free credits in addition to the credits you already get. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.